This is the Northwest Tank Line Super Bowl show coming to you from Radio Row. It's busy already. Brian Baldinger from the NFL Network is hanging around. Coach Brian Billick. Speaking of coaches, our next guest was the head coach of the Atlanta Falcons from 2008 through 2014, winning as coach in Atlanta Falcons franchise history with a record of 66-46, and 46, Associated Press NFL Coach of the Year in 2008, is Mike Smith, and he's here representing X-Tech Pads, our good friend Bob Broderick, part of that. And X-Tech, by the way, a supplier of pads of the BC Lions. Coach, welcome. Oh, great to be here. I hope you guys are doing well. So we were having a little fun beforehand because I said, I'm going to surprise you with a little research that I did in the CFL, and oh, gotcha. you kind of came back. We always say, you know, it's funny, and you know this, Football is such a small world. I always say it's one degree of separation that, you know, you know somebody that I know or vice versa. I was going to throw this one at you. You're at Tennessee Tech. Name a former Tennessee Tech player that won a great cup as a head coach in Saskatchewan. Corey Chamblin. There you go. I I, uh, I recruited Corey. Yeah. Yeah, Corey, great, great man, great man. And I also have another connection to the CFL. Uh, I was cut from the Winnipeg, Winnipeg Blue Bombers in 1982. Um, Ray Yock was the was the head coach. I got a quick story. So, as you know, and you're an American, you're up there in the first cuts. They say we want to keep you around for the ta ca taxi squad. And I went into Coach Yock. I said, Coach Yock, I said I've got a question for you. I uh, got a chance to go be a GA in, in at San Diego State. Do you think I really have a chance to play in? professional football and coach yock he wore these glasses over over his my nose over his nose he looked up and he said son you need to go coach <laughs> <laughs> so i i saw him years later and his son who's involved in the national football no no league. no jim yock's work he's working with us oh okay well, BC jim, Lions his working son, personnel, yeah. Yeah. we see we see each other and we laugh we have a beer and we laugh yeah. about that i said yep he's the one that kicked me off to that's too uh, funny yeah to, to start my coaching and career. And we'll see Jim up at training camp in yeah. a couple of months in Kamloops with yeah. the Lions because he's always yeah. up in camp for, you know, two, three weeks. All the personnel yeah. guys yeah, are Ryan Rigmaiden and them. So Yeah, I saw him at the Hula Bowl just, uh, just a couple weeks ago. But you're saying Chris Jones. You're connected yeah. with him. I gave him his first job. As really? A, as, a, as a graduate assistant at – Tennessee Tech. There you go. So there's a lot of hey, there's a lot of connections. Like you say, it's just one degree. Yeah, and, and Chris, it's funny. We got to know Chris a couple of years ago in Toronto, and he had been hired by the Argos when I can't remember the DC that left, but it was COVID related. So they hired Chris as quote a defensive consultant. I'm using air quotes here. And he was staying at the the Western Harbor Castle, where we were there for a week because it was one of those weeks where we played Toronto one week, Hamilton the next. Yep. So we just stayed out yeah, there that country, week. You yeah, stay, yeah, we just stayed. And he was in the lobby one night, and we just started chatting with him. And the next thing you know, it's like we just became buds, right? And that accent, just you just oh, love yeah. talking football. With him. What oh. y'all think of him, right? Like you know, so it was uh, it was, and we've always had a good relationship with him. So it's a small, small world. Hey, tell us about your involvement with X Tech Pads. Oh, certainly. I've been involved with X-Tech Pads uh, for 12 years, actually, at the, at the very beginning. Uh, had an opportunity to meet Bob Broderick and when I was coaching with the Falcons, and uh, he came down and was trying to have some opportunities to talk to college uh, programs and high school programs there in the metro Atlanta area. We sat down, had a, had a wonderful conversation, and uh, – what he has and what he was, what he envisioned, is just unbelievable. And you fast forward right now, we're 12 years or 13 years later. It's the number one pad in the pros, most worn pad over uh, over the all all professional teams, not just the NFL. But there's guys like playing in the Super Bowl uh, this week. We've got Nick Bo Nick Bosa's going to be wearing it, uh, but Josh Allen wears it. J Justin Jefferson, Micah Parsons, Josh Jacobs—they're all guys that wear it. Uh, I think Fred War Fred Warner and George Kittle uh, and Brock Purdy wear it. So you 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 know you'll see the X on it, and it's an unbelievable technology. I, when I first saw it, it just blew me away. Coach, you're old enough to remember, and like you know, I grew up. You know, my window of Growing up with football is like, you know, say mid-70s to like 80s, that those developmental years, whatever you want to call them. And I, I mean, I go back and I watch some of the things on YouTube now. Like I watch Ronnie Lott or, you know, Kenny yeah, Easley with the Seahawks and the pads that they wore. Just like, yeah. <laughs> like the wingspan of a 747. And it's amazing how the technology has evolved to the point now where sometimes you look at athletes and you don't even know if they're wearing pads or not. Absolutely. And, and. 
the design of the pads and there's auxiliary pads that you can wear now for extra protection. They're so small that you they almost look like they're wearing no pads. And that's the thing that I think is most important is we have a great penetration at schools like USC, Washington, Auburn, Penn State, Oklahoma, and in the NFL. But we need to we need to make it safer for the high school and the younger and the younger players that are playing football. And I want to encourage you. I know that people have been on before with you guys, but I want to encourage you to go to xtechpads.com or follow them on Instagram at, at xtechpads because they have this unbelievable technology for fitting the pads. You don't have to, all you have to do is take some measurements and you take your measurements, you put, the, you in, import them into the program and it kicks out the model that you need. And we need to make sure that the game is played safely for us to continue on and ha- let this great game continue to grow. Mike Smith is our guest, former head coach of the Atlanta Falcons. Coach, do you miss it? Do you miss being on the sidelines on Sundays? No. And and sometimes I say, hell no. <laughs> really? I don't. I don't. Uh, when I, I told my wife, I've told the story uh, many times, I told my wife when we got married, I said, when, we, when we're done, I'm going to the mountains of East Tennessee and we're going to be down at 60. I don't want to coach past 60, and I was able to be in a position. Thank God I had an opportunity to, to coach the National Football League, and I was able to – step you know step away at age 60 so what's keeping you busy these days uh golf fishing fishing <laughs> golf <laughs> that, that that takes care of the week two days off you know, four, yeah. and then i take two days off and then i re- and then i uh I decide what else I want to do. Your wife uh, probably loves you for it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she does. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of the house. Oh, yes. It was so Quickly. much better when you were at the office yes, for yes. 20 hours a day. Absolutely. A um, couple of things I want to touch on before. Obviously, you know that Atlanta situation extremely well, having coached there. Are you? What were your thoughts? I mean, everybody's thinking about Belichick going to Atlanta, and they go with Raheem Morris. What was your reaction when all that went down? Uh you never know in a in a hiring cycle what's going to happen. I can speak, you know, from experience because when Mike Smith was hired to coach the Atlanta Falcons, uh, there were a lot of people that were going, "How did that happen?" Mm-hmm. Uh, there's so many dynamics in play, and uh, and you really don't know. And be, it becomes such a newsworthy thing when there's a, a coaching change, and there's so many experts. You really don't know how it went down. But I do know this: they re, they picked Raheem Morris there was a connection he'd been there as a as a defensive coordinator he was there as a coach when when Dan was relieved of his duties he he stepped in finished the season there's some familiarity there he did a wonderful job in uh in LA and I think he's going to do a good job in Atlanta you know it's interesting because he left and came back I always say it's one of the toughest things that you can do in any sport is be an assistant on a team and then get promoted to be the head coach. Because now, I mean, you still have to be true to yourself, but at the same time, your relationships change because all of a sudden you can't be the sounding board. You're the guy that makes the decisions, and sometimes you are the bad guy, so to speak. Well, that that's a good point. But in this case, I think there's been enough time. Yes. Uh, as you know, the, the, the flip of a, of a roster in the yep. National Football League can happen very, very quickly, especially when you're not having success. And – uh, that it was, you know, that was the case. That enough success to, you know, for the previous coach to keep his job. All right, the game on Sunday. I don't know how closely you still keep tabs on the league with all that golfing and fishing going around, but just your thoughts on Super Bowl Fifty Eight between the Forty ers and the Chiefs. I think it's going to be a very close game, uh, but I cannot see the Forty ers winning the ball game. I just think that Mahomes and his pedigree and Andy Reid, unless they turn the ball over uh, five or six times, I think they're going to win the football game. It'll be a close competitive game. Though. Hold on. My phone's ringing one sec. Hello? Coach Jones, how you doing? Yeah, yeah. I'm talking with Coach Smith right now. <laughs> you want him to come up and help in Edmonton next year? <laughs> All right. Okay, I'll ask him. Hey, he's got a job for you with the Elks. You want to go back up? No. <laughs> No, like I said before, not no, but 
<laughs> Hell, Hell no. no. <laughs> Coach, this has been great again. X Tech Pads. It's on Instagram at X Tech Pads. Also check it out online, XTechPads.com. Great stuff. Great having you on board. And uh, it was just it was a treat talking yeah. football with you. Great. Now, hey, I hope Chris has a great season this year.